Okay, so here we're looking at uh, equations of lines. This is ax plus by plus c equals zero. This is called the standard form of a equation of a line. So you might be given something like this, example 2x minus 3y plus 5 equals zero. And uh, what you could do is rearrange it into the form mx plus b. So it's something x, y equals something x plus something, uh, where the number in front of x is the slope and the constant, the number on its own, is the y-intercept. So in this example here, what I've done is uh, it's much easier to just take the y and add that to the other side over there. So that becomes 3y three, three on the right side. And then you don't want to know what 3y is equal to. You need to know what 1y is equal to, right? You think of this as 1y if you like. So I've divided both sides by 3. So that cancelled out the 3 here, um, and I had to divide everything by 3. So here I have 2 thirds instead of 2, and 5 thirds instead of uh, 5. Now that this is in the form mx plus b, i.e. I could rewrite this if you like as y equals 2 thirds x plus 5 thirds or 1 and 2 thirds, where this number here is the slope, right? And this number here is the y-intercept. So you can see now, this is a, a line that goes through the y-axis, one and two-thirds, or five-thirds. And the slope two-thirds means for every three you go across, you go up two, because that's a horizontal change uh, with a vertical change on top. So you can see I've just roughly mapped out three units right, two units up. Um, if you like, you can, you're always free to do a table of values, right? So if you want to just check or feel safe with knowing you've plotted this right, you can just take a value like x is 1, plug it into the equation. Okay, if x was 1, what would happen here? If x was 1, y would equal 2 thirds times 1 um, plus the 5 thirds, so I'd end up with um, basically 7 thirds, so 7 thirds or 2 and a third. Um, so I would plot that point, there it is, and then you can just join those up to make your line. Okay, sometimes uh, you'll have to do the reverse. Sometimes you'll be given the mx plus b form, and you'll be asked to put it in standard form, i.e. you want to go back to ax plus by plus c equals zero, which is called the standard form, right? So in this example here, how do I get back to standard form? Usually what you want to do is get rid of fractions. So I don't like that 8 being there. I'm going to multiply everything by 8. So there's no fractions here. So by multiplying everything by 8, I cancel that 8, and I'm just left with 3. That's multiplied by 8. It's 56x. That's multiplied by 8. Now I want to put uh, everything to one side. So I brought the 56 over here, where it becomes negative. Bring the 3 over here, where it becomes positive. Now I have my equation set to zero in standard form.